Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create fog in any game. So I have this little scene set up here, it's nothing too spectacular. It's just a terrain, a couple of trees, a bit of grass, a couple of textures, and some mountain kind of landscaping. So to create fog, you just go to Window and go to Lighting. So this is where you would set your skybox. Down the bottom here, we have the word fog with a tick box and an arrow. Click on the arrow and then click on the tick. And instantly you'll see kind of fog appearing. By default, its uh, fog mode is exponential squared. This is relatively a good option to choose because it gives you plenty of chance to modify the fog. It is very precise, this section. If you were to just slide like that to one, it, it would literally fog everything and look a bit silly unless you wanted that style for a game. Generally, if you have about 0 0.05, it gives you a good fog distance. So you can see here, that the fog in the distance is relatively good. The other option you have is to tick there and tick linear. Linear gives you an option of how far you want the fog away. So for example, you want the fog to start at, let's say, 300 and end about, let's say, 6,000. So fog would be massively in the distance in this case. If you want it up close, you would have it as zero and you could have it set as, let's say, 62. So again, it's relatively close to you. So you can see as you walk around, the fog will clear as you get further and further to the point of where the fog is in your view. So you can see there, that looks fine. And where we've just come from, there is also fog. Now fog is useful in this case for masking, let's say what you have in the distance, which isn't rendered on your terrain. So you'll notice as well, up here, the skybox isn't rendered with this fog. To get around that, all you would use there is just a quick kind of uh, particle system to create that fog itself. You can also change the fog color, so you can have a deep dark red, for example, if you're going for that style. So it is fully customizable in that respect. You can have blue, any sort of color fog, gray fog, black fog. So the idea of black fog here would also give the impression of deep dark night. So although it's classed as fog, it's quite easily used to give more of a nighttime impression. So this is perhaps kind of good if you are working with nighttime, because if this scene is based on nighttime, and if we were to remove the fog completely, it gives less of a nighttime effect. So having the fog on as black and as linear, with round about zero as the start and end as between, I'd say, 60 and 100, that gives you a decent kind of impression of nighttime. So obviously the lower it is, the closer the darkness. So you can see here, it's very dark. And that is how you can create fog in your game and also use it to pretend or mask a nighttime feeling in the game. Guys, thank you very much for watching.